Hi everyone. Welcome to Nikkei Tech Academy. In our today's session, we are going to learn how to read the data from plat file to a table in IACS. So we have seen the same scenario in Informatica Power Center. The same scenario we will see it in IACS also. In IACS, if I want to read the data from a flat file, yeah, we will keep the file in real time project. We will keep the file in remote server or Unix server. So we will read it. So, but here we are going to keep the file in this path. So any path you can choose it. So just I'm going to keep the file in this particular path and I'm going to read the data from this flat file and I'm going to write it into the table. So this particular table, I'm going to write it into this table. So we are going to read the data from a file. So this is our CSV file and this is our IACS. So through IACS, I'm going to read it and I'm going to write the data into Oracle table here. So this is a table here. I'm going to write. So this table, I'm going to write it. So in real time project, so instead of this table, we might have cloud target also. So we might have S3, we might have Amazon or we might have GCP or we might have any other cloud system also. So here also in source, we might have in real time project, we will have the file in Unix server or Linux server or Linux server. So from here, we are going to read it and we are going to write the data into the table. So how we will check now. So in order to get the data, first of all, I will create the file. So all the columns I will take from here, employee ID, first name, last name, email. So since we have the HR schema employees table, I'm going to export this data as a file. Since I have the date and time column in IACS, we need to have a particular format, the date and time format. We need to have a particular format. So that's why I am, I'm taking the higher date in this format. Okay. That's why I have created here to care of this. One. Okay. I'm going to execute it. You can see this and right click on this particular data. You can click on export. I'm just creating the source CSV file format. You can choose CSV file left enclosure. You can make it like none and right also automatically it will be none and you can choose the path. We can go to the path here. C drive SRC files. I'm just going to save this data in this file source flat file underscore employees dot CSV. So this is the file I'm going to create it. Click on OK, save, and this will be created here. You can see here a CSV file has been created. You can open the file in Notepad++ and then you can see here the date and time format, all the data. So here I'm going to rename this one of the customer, one of the employees name into NICIT Academy to tell you that, OK, so from this file only, I'm going to read the data. So just we are renaming one of the employees name and we are making sure that from this file only we are reading the data. So this is the source file and this is the target table. So we have the target table in our Oracle database. I'm going to read the data from this file and I'm going to write it. Now I will go to the IACS. You can check both runtime environment are up and running. Go to explore. So we can choose the project. So I will go to this particular project. You can open the project, then click on new, just to create a new mapping. Click on new mapping, create a mapping, create here. The mapping will be created. So you can provide the mapping name. So it should be a M underscore mapping name should be M underscore source underscore flat file underscore employees. Just I'm providing the naming convention and location is the project name, which we have created already. And description, if you want, you can give the description here. So I can take this one to read the data from flat file to table. Just I'm mentioning the description here. Then I will go to the source here. Click on source. So one time on the source, source will be selected. You can click on this window, maximize and go to source here and click on the connection. So very first. If you have already created a connection, we can make use of that connection. If not, 
we will create a new connection. Since the date and time format is different here, I will create a new connection here. So we can create a new connection here also in the administrator page. So go to new connection. So here you can provide the connection name. Yes, I am giving that source flat file EMP. So if you want, you can give the description also to understand better. Type, you can choose the flat file. Then runtime environment, you can choose this runtime environment. Directory, you can give this directory and the date format. So this is very, very important. So that's why we have created in this format. So then this format, DD hyphen MM hyphen YYY format. So which format we have? So as of now in IACS, we do not have any custom date and time format. So only these format, the data type should be. Whatever the customer is giving us the file, right? We have to tell them as of now, IACS, we have only these date and time format. We have to get the date and time format in this way only. If they are providing any other format, IACS cannot able to read the data. So instead of date and time format, we have to read it like a string. After that, by using expression, we can convert it. That's the one option we can do it. So as of now, we can do it in the state and time format. So click on test. So this format, it will, this directory, it will go on ping and then it will test it. So click on OK now. We have created a connection. So now we have provided a connection. Source type is single object, single file. Then go to select object. Select the object here. So this is the object CSV file. Click on OK. And since it is a file, we will not have any other options here. So it will be disabled and go to field. So since it is a flat file, you can see all the field. So 11 field we have, right? All the field data types are string. So we have to define a correct data type. You can click on options, edit metadata. So you can click on edit metadata. We have to provide native data type. So our source data type, flat file data types, flat file to Informatica data type. So here, what is the data type of our source? So employee ID, we can keep it like number, first name. So number of number of four, or you can keep it like number of six or whatever the precision you have. And the first name, we can keep it like string, last name string, email also string, phone number, yeah, it's a string only. Then higher date, higher date is date and time. So it will automatically take the precision, date and time. Then we can go to the job ID, yes, we have. And salary column, it's a number data type. We can provide number, commission percentage, number, but it is a decimal, right? So if it is decimal, make sure that you are providing a decimal point correctly. So that's very, very important. So go to that number, decimal. We can provide the native data type. Like we can give some eight comma two. So we have to provide the scale. Scale is very, very important. And then we can go for manager ID. It's a number data type. Then you can go for four digit and department ID also. Number data type, four characters. You can verify one more time all the data types we have given correctly and click on save. So we have defined the source now, then we can go to the target since it is a direct load. So just we are reading the data from a source and then we are going to load it into a table. We can go to the target table here. You can maximize it. You can go to the target here. I have already created a connection, Oracle underscore TGT, this connection, single object, the object we can choose this object T underscore employees, right? So we can choose this object T underscore employees, click on OK. Then it's a insert only. If you want, you can truncate target table. That means before loading the data into the table, so IACS will truncate the target table and then it will load. So here we can do the truncate and load. If it is an incremental load, we should not do the truncate and load. Okay, go to target field here. So we can see, so this is the target field, in the database, and then we have to do the field mapping. So field mapping is nothing but we are mapping from source flat file to target table. 
IACS. So just we can, we have to do the field mapping. So you can do auto map, click on smart map. It will automatically do the mapping. So you can see the employee ID to all the columns has been mapped. Now you can save it. The mapping should be valid now. So in IACS, just we can run the mapping. So first of all, we can run the mapping. After that, you can create. So if you want, you can create the mapping task. So for this, if I want to create a mapping task, so you can create a mapping task. So mapping task is nothing but a session in Informatica Power Center. So mapping task underscore source underscore flat file underscore the employees. See the locations. Choose the runtime environment and mapping. You can choose the mapping here. So this is the mapping we have created. So click on select. It will be selected. Click on go to next. So if you want to give any other options, you want to schedule it. Yes, we can provide the schedule. If you want to get any email notification, you can provide all the details. So rest of the details we will see later. Just to click on finish. So mapping task will be created. So here has been created. Now it's, it has been saved. So this is mapping. This is mapping task. You can click on run. Before run, I will show you there is no data in the table. So I'm going to run it. So it will load the data. See here it is starting. You can refresh. Click on this refresh button. So if, if it is showing that update is available, then you can click on one more time. It might be such. So next state, it will be showing you. Rows processed 107, success. If it is warning, then you have to go inside. You have to check the log here. So you can see same way, how many record read from the source, how many record written into the target. Is there any error? All this you can check. If you want to download the session log, you can check the, you can download the session log, you can check it. So where is the error or anything? So if you want to restart one more time, you can restart it this way. Just we can check here. So this is the way we can find, okay, the data has been loaded, right? So you can see, if you click on this, and then you can find the data has been loaded from the flat file to table. So this is what you have to do the flat file to table. So this is simple file. It has only comma separated value file that to a single delimiter. In our next session, we will see with the different delimiters with the different options. Thank you.